Nobody. You can't go yet. The boys and girls will be here soon. <gasps> Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Buddy Time. <coughs> My name is Noonie and this is Buddy. Say hi, Buddy. <coughs> we are so, so happy to see you today, guys. Well done for tuning in. Now, before we begin, I must tell you a little bit about Buddy. Buddy is actually called Buddy the Bee Bird. Do you know why he's called Buddy the Bee Bird? Hmm. Why are you Buddy the Bee Bird? Boys and girls, what does B stand for? Hmm? B. B. Anybody know? That's a good answer. Somebody said blue. Buddy, what do you think? He likes blue, yeah? But that's not the answer we're looking for. Anybody else? B. Yes, I hear you. Bold bird. Oh, Buddy, somebody thought you were B for bold. Oh, no, no, no. He's a little bit bold. No, it's not bold. What else could the B stand for? Hmm. Pardon me? Yeah, good one. Somebody said big. You are big. Buddy likes big, but it's not big either. Will I tell you a secret, boys and girls? B stands for... Ballymac! Yes! Buddy the Ballymac bird. So everybody watching here today is from Ballymac? Or know somebody from Ballymac? Or maybe know somebody living in Ballymac? Doesn't really matter. We're all here together. Yeah! Okay, one other thing, boys and girls. Did everybody get their recording chart? You can fill this out afterwards with your mom or your dad or maybe a big sister or a brother. So Buddy is really excited to get going today and do some exercise, aren't you, Buddy? Yes, he is. So Stephen and Frank are waiting for us down at the pitch to do some warm-ups. Yeah, we're going to warm up our bodies and do some exercise. So you go and have a look at what Frank and Stephen are doing and we'll see you later. Okay, guys? Hi, boys and girls. Uh, Frank here from the Academy and here with Stephen. And as part of the, the new movement going forward with the club and Buddy the Board is coming soon. So in order to get ready for Buddy the Board, we want to go through some of the exercises we do when we're in the club. And uh, what we're going to do first of all today is a couple of fundamental movements for the parents. And basically that's the superhero stretching that all you boys and girls know at home. So feel free, all parents, to choose your distance with your child and participate. It doesn't have to be parents, it can be a sibling or an older brother and sister as well. So basically we just have a nice distance between the two of us. Stephen's on one side, I'm on the other. And we'll start off with a Superman stretch, which is basically touch the toes, touch the sky. So Stephen, uh, Superman stretch, so launch if we go to our toes. One, two, three, up. And that's our Superman. So we can do that two or three times up, nice and easy. It's up to you and the child how you want to do that. And another part of our warm up exercise is the flash, which is sprinting on the spot. Uh, nice and easy, knees up, hands moving as fast as we can. So one, two, three, flash, go, up. We get five, six, seven uh, seconds. Nice and easy. And the last one we'll do is, we'll do two more. Another one is the Hulk, Hulk smash. So Hulk likes to jump up and he smashes everything with his fist. So we start off with a stretch up on our toes, trying to touch the sky. Up and down, up and down. Again, a couple of movements like that. The last one is the hardest and it's probably the most fun to do, which is Spider-Man. All the boys and girls know how to do this. I'll demonstrate first. Then we go onto the toes, onto the hands, forward, backwards. Nice and easy. So what we'll do with that one, uh, it's a little harder, so maybe not as many times, three or four times, then we can cover them all together. So, Stephen, you're ready to do a full session? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. So, Stephen likes cheating, so we need to keep an eye out. So, very quickly, flash, go. Nice and easy, swap. So, we swap sides. Flash again, Stephen. Superman. Down, up. Excellent. Spider-Man. Then up we go, cross over, nice and simple, up we go again. 
So there are fundamental movements, no football needed, two or three minutes would be enough. And look forward to our next video, we'll be introducing footballs. Wow buddy, that was really good warm up. We're sorry we can't go down to the pitch today, Coach Stephen and Coach Frank, because it's COVID and we're not allowed down there right now. That's why we're going to do some exercise at home instead, okay? So now I think it's time to go back down to the pitch to see what other exercises the coaches have ready for you. Okay, boys and girls, what we're going to do now is we've done our warm-up, so now we need to find out how do we use our hands in gaelic football. It's the same for boys and girls, but just simple little movements. There's a few little tricks along the way. One of the main things we use um, when we're catching a ball, especially over our head, is in a W position, like this, like that. It's also known as the butterfly. It's a little bit of a butterfly. So when a ball comes above our head, our hands are like this. The ball is here. You can see my W is always there. The reason we have that W, by the way, is if it's not a W, when we go try and catch the ball, it's very easy for the ball to go through our hands like that. The W stops the ball going behind us and makes it go forward, which makes it easier to catch. And the other way uh, to catch the ball, if I was to throw the ball to Stephen here, excellent, that's a body catch, that's known as a bucket catch. The reason it's called a bucket is my hand, hands go in around the ball like that, elbows always in. Why are the elbows always in, Stephen? Any ideas? So the ball doesn't slip through. The ball doesn't slip through. Stephen throw to me, my elbows are out. The ball slips through. Okay, so that's two ways of catching the ball. Above our head, in a butterfly, or the W, or the bucket catch. So we're just going to show you a couple of demonstrations of that. Into the bucket. There we go. It's me. Above the head. Above the head. You can see my hands into the butterfly and the W. Stand again, Stephen. Up the head. Here we go. Hands into the W. Bucket catch, elbows always in. This is a nice, easy exercise. Parents, friends, family, anyone can help them do. And that's how we catch a ball when we use our hands. In our next video, we'll do our feet. So, boys and girls, everybody has lots to practice this week. And I hope you do your very best. Thanks to Coach Stephen and to Coach Frank and Buddy, who else? Thanks to all the boys and girls for tuning in today. See you all next Sunday at 11 o'clock. Bye for now. Bye.